Are you joining us? Hello, mister. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Kelly. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Fold. Oh. I'm sorry, my friend. I thought you was a player. I ain't got time to waste on fools and cowards. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Ship. <laughs> Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone well, is the author of his own. Nothing report. ventured, nothing gained. Barricades. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard 
lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. <laughs> I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good chief, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We got to get out of here. That was cool. Strauss, you
We need to get out of here. Well, how do you suggest? I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly. I forgot to bring my gondola. Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Nice place you brought us to, my brother. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. 
Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. <laughs> what is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Crystal Boys are coming! windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Why didn't you 
Get inside. I miss all this. Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, they don't. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler! Oh, no, they don't! Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taken care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <sighs> he saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Hey. Javier? 